break hey everyone uh sorry for the no sound background and some technical issues again all right so uh, it's unusual uh, modern stream for me even though i want to continue to do this so uh the main reason is that i couldn't stream this week some personal issues with work etc so today there will be two streams one right now and another one uh, in the evening so we will try to move on with the main quest we get our broom our talents these are two things uh, still missing and then we will finish uh, the side quests we'll try to finish all of them we get 100% uh, probably but not certainly right so ready to start okay where are we Okay, what about Fabius? So, right? Oh! We have two quests. Hmm... Herbology quest? We don't have, uh... A sterile beacon there. Let's get it. Okay, I have to remember how to use spells. It's been so long. Right. Right. Let's drop a little bit. Let's return to commons mode. Speed. Huh? Aim. You're growing pungent onion again. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um. Uh, A little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing bowl. Then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a Tug. <clears throat> Quickly, place your mandrake in the new port and cut down the forest. Um. Plants. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. 
All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Mm. Now for our next task, we'll be planting Rebellion. just our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Levioso. <laughs> Nice to do something with it. Levioso. Nope, not this. Revelio. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy, or roses? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Uh, we can uh, plant our own plants. Mm -hmm. I have only Dittany. Ready in 10 minutes. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. The plants here are the most dangerous thing. Yeah. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but you'll leave. Okay. There was a sudden drop of the PS. Why that? Stabilized? They... So, oh man! Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian, and he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good, but you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomp. Go on, grab it. Now, see that dummy? Just Rebellion. The cabbages up it, and they'll do the rest. I'm sorry, what do I need to do? Garlic said she wanted you to have a go at tending the cabbages. Give them some time to chomp and whatnot. Nothing to it, really. Just toss some of those Chinese chomping cabbages out. <laughs> You'll see fairly quickly why we call them that. Oh, 
Okay, so... Look at that! That's more than anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Just because those cabbages will chomp on a dummy doesn't mean they do the same on, say, a goblin. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Mm, Take so it's a weapon. I'll see you back in class. Revelio. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. I Pitt. tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new parts. Only cost me my hearing. All right. What's next? It's on a world map. Yep. No, 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 Okay, full speed on. Oh, another flame. Nicely detailed. Um, 
The graphics here are just magnificent. It's uh Yep. Which Ah, damn it. <laughs> there was another flame here on the way. Well, whatever. Nice. And? I think um, you should be able to catch animals here. This could Maybe prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Hmm. Oh, there's people. Ah. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient it's magic. Stuck talking too much. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your mm. guard. So that's it. Revelio. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Mm, I see. But mummy, Archie, I don't have time to argue. I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home. Especially when I'm inside with your little sister. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Oh, that's enough. I'm too tired for your stories today. You stay right here where I can see you. Why don't you do some more things? They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. 
Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student? You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. <laughs> uh. Okay. I'm not going anywhere with you. You take this student off of my dead body! Take us! Clumsy little fool! Incendio! I'm just warming up! Levioso! How is that? I haven't even had me clear yet! You'll feel that! Oh, damn it! If you love that! Ouch. Ah, the red one. I should use instead, yeah. I got sloppy. That, well, that's what you get. You... Play a week ago. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Yeah, okay. And you also need to dodge. Oh, I'm going to win. We can hold them off, Presumption. I'm not going anywhere with you. You can't get to the top of my dead body. And it's just... Levioso. Uh, you haven't uh, got a friend. Accio. Uh, Tell Rookwood to find me himself. Ouch. just happened i've never been accosted in such a manner then so close to hogwarts are you all right i am thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills care to tell me why two ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you ashwinders victor rookwood thieves and extortionists his little cronies they seemed quite keen on you it's a long story Thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturn Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures mm. he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Merlin was a Slytherin student. <laughs> I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. 
no one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought mm. a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Ah. <laughs> this one. My word! Did you see that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio! Fallen's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. <laughs> These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Did we want it to see it? I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Mm. I also Marlin. Game. Okay. Potion class. Hmm. Just fully dodge. And cast incendio on enemies. Uh huh. I see. So maybe we should find some enemies first. Got to find them in the wilderness. Right? Yep, we really needed a broom. Oh well. Search for them later. Go to the potion class. By the way, what about the talents? The locked game. It's strange. It's been quite a while. Still. And open the talents. Yeah, I think Pepe has dropped when we. Regarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. 
Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. E. Sorry, sorry. Revelio. Professor Sharp's Horror Batch. Horrors comprise the Ministry's magical law enforcement and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This Horror Batch belongs to Professor Sharp. Mm -hmm. He's an axe fighter. Why do I have to see it every time? <laughs> this looks stupid, really. Again? Ah, no. Begin the quest. Let's begin a drop. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar. Can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Right. My parents... Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. So this bubble means what? Ah, I was impressed I that you him. were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganweld potion. Oh, 
You're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. Professor Sharp didn't seem as impressed as you are. Don't take it personally. Professor Sharp wouldn't be impressed by a troll reciting the tales of Beetle the Bard backwards. <laughs> and in Gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation, is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Hey. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? You heard correctly. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fruper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fruper Feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. No. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Remember, precision is brewing potion. Date, 31st of December, 1875, from Auror Office. Subject, Borgin and Barks. Organ and box had, uh, has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given that we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more aurors to join those that we already been watching the shop. You are among the new additions. Huh. So he's still working as an or? Prepared witch or wizard always has a. Should you chop the ditany or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Twenty-eight seconds. A potion that enhances the drinker's defense by covering them with a durable rock skin. Ah, oh, so it's a shield potion. sweet and that's odd what's happening wait it's not supposed to uh -uh. Get it. Get it. <laughs> oh. Oh. what happened <laughs> well done Gareth oh that was fun what now mr. Weasley sorry professor that'll be points from Gryffindor again Well, last point because of him. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. Glad you managed to resist. You've done well today. I confess I was 
skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Right. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Fine job brewing your first Wiccan well. Ugh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. Um, sorry. Good night. Right. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Uh-huh. So this is Marcos number two. Incendio. Where uh, number four? Uh, perhaps mind what you're doing there. Try riding a hippogriff. This one should be three. This one is a one. Yep. So, what about secrets? I got a stage here. Rebellion. And there is another guest. Oh, legendary gloves. Good. Twenty five offense. And uh, a trade lot level. Don't know what it is. For now. Rebellion. Okay. Nothing to see here. I think it's time when you're best at something. Pick me for example. Oh damn it. Truly helping.
Where's the key? He should be. Akio. Oh, oh Let sorry. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? No. Huh. Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes. Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington. At your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Hmm. Now follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait. How do you know about the book? Ugh. And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. As usual. Hmm, a small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. Rotten roast beef? I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Revelio. Ah, here we are. Head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the households. I see apples, I'm bread. already imagining sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. Oh. Laughing pear. Our students Never will in the kitchen. Students. What Plenty could they want? Delicious food huh. or found Elf? themselves a bit peckish, likely. Certainly you know how makes rookies' job easier. <laughs> in a Russian Rosby. Revelio. You can't open the locks. Um It smells glorious in here. Revelio. Wait a minute. Oh, sorry. 
I thought uh, I saw a field guide page here. Revelio. So the reason. Ah, okay, I see. Yep. Nice. Good teleportation. Hmm. Here's some beef, but it's not rotten. And best keep looking. Revelio. What's up with living quarters? Not a comfortable. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. You didn't hear. Please help yourself. Think he supposes mm. Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Why rotten then? Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Think he supposes not. However, think he has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favorite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back anytime you please. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Hmm. Right. Who knew all of this was going on right beneath our feet? Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless <laughs> activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. I know, I know. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. 
Uh, shall we? Hmm. I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Patrick may help me in that regard. One, of course, also helping you. What am I supposed to do when we meet the hunt? Allow me to do the talking. They can be a rather supercilious lot. I'm certain they'll be welcoming to you, however. In no small part due to the rotten roast beef you will come bearing. Strange. Is it dangerous? Is the headless hunt dangerous? Oh, the headless hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving headless ghosts. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. What? Right away? Right, let's see this headless hunt. Hmm. I forgot. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from a young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very mm. suspicious. What do you really want as if i need to ask um it, it's richard jackdaw uh, where can we find him uh, may we speak to him jackdaw eh why here he is now what a shame without his head i bet you've always wondered what that's like eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> sir you jazz <sighs> It's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite... Yeah. But, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, <laughs> follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Hmm... What this? My mortal life was never this entertaining. After a bridge, there is a uh, candles. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Revelio. Hmm. 
Hmm, 500. Old coins, nice. Revelio. Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? Why are you using Jackdaw's head for this game? Well, if you must know, Jackdaw's our newest member, so we like to put him through his paces. Please, could you explain the rules again? Find his head amongst the pumpkins five times. Use your wand. I cannot be more specific than that. <laughs> How did you happen to become a member of the Headless Hunt? I was executed alongside some fellow mutineers. We didn't like the way things were being run in our county, so we took matters into our own hands. <laughs> Treason is such a strong word, but that's what we were found guilty of. Things would have turned out much better if they'd let me be in charge. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvelous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Cast away until you find him. Rebellion. I'd do too if I had a wand. Accio. Levioso. Stop already. Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide in, eh, hey, Jack Dawson? Rebellion. Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. I'm glad I won't be the one to clean up this mess. <laughs> well, good job, Hudson. Oh. Revelio. Well, we're not through with you. Find him. I'm glad I won't be the one to keep this mess. Well done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. <laughs> Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Door here. Hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still moldering away with Maya. Ah, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <laughs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go? 
What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains? If I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises <laughs> for you? Right. Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Alright, let's see. And for the missing pages. Can you... to learn Expelliarmus and for that I need to dodge for two times and use instead of four times Let's go find some enemies. We have to dodge. Wait a minute. I'm going the wrong way. The map. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Mm, the sis that you of Hufflepuff. And Gisto, who lived to be the founder of the village of Hop. Okay.
Incendio. One. Akio. Incendio. And there's another one. Who lived here, I wonder? Oh, whoa, 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 what the? Accio! Incendio! Revelio! See more enemies. Welcome to Upper Hogsfield, charming Hamlet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There are many of enemies here. Inferno must be struck with fire spells to make the vulnerable to other attacks. Incendio. Accio. Incendio. Accio. Incendio. Leviosa. So what about the quest? Oh, I still have to dodge attacks. Okay. Revelio. Have to dodge two attacks. <laughs> Successful dodge. Yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> right. We we'll finish our assignment. We'll get our price and continue. Good. And we still don't don't get our line broom. Or talents. I'm by press the map. I'm pressing on.
Amen. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches oh, and it's wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting spell requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. Dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick. Incendium! Accu! Expelliarmus may save your life. Okay. Right, all right. Let's go on. Up. What? Ah. Uh. Revelio. Was that? Great spined Elba? Akio. That was hard. We got to Doug Boktong. Revelio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. 
Nothing useful here. Step for a chest. Election update, thanks to. I need more healing potions. Revelio. Accio. That's all Gavram Spellcroft for some of this potion. Another good oop. Come on. Cheers. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Revelio. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the Forbidden Forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. <laughs> Shall we? I see. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. Accio. Incendio. What? Level 20? Accio. Incendio. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Accio. Incendio. Expelliant. What the? It was a poison. Well, the spider is level twenty. It's kinda...
Let's change the place a little bit. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Too close to dodge all attacks. It's a deck. But I want to defeat here. Him. Oh, oh her. Matriarch. Incendio. What the incendio? Handy resource indeed. Your side. I'm most pleased to be included. Accio, incendio. Too fast. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. That was a hard fight, really. Safe. I don't want to fight her again. Hmm? Incendio. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Uh, where is the waterfall actually? Ah, I see now. Revelio. Ofsky? I can't uh, use it now. My animal abilities. Something Hello. oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is. Just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. No. <laughs> Aren't you a little far from home? Renron mm. knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, uh, Oh, whoa, whoa, what the hell? Incendio. Incendio. You must get out. Oh, that's embarrassing, isn't it? Incendio. Leviosa. Incendio. Expelliarmus. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's hmm. see where Jack Doris led me. The potions? That's good. I wonder how big this place is. I can shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. Mm, dead spiders. I need to go to three before they time out on me. The room should be dark if I wait too long. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Revelio. 
I wonder I if any of the spells will help me through this. Fighters. Another legendary here. In twenty eight. Okay, what else I got? More offense. Oh, Gryffindor, nice. Wand handles do absolutely nothing. Right? <sighs> Revelio. Again, Akio, incendio. Akio. I 
I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Accio! This was simple. Oh. Revelio. An untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. So our inventory is limited. That was um Unexpected. Can I drop something? Just items. Mm -hmm. Twenty slots only. Mm, destroy. the back. Of this, so can I. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. Hmm, hidden one. Hmm. Ah, E. Revelio. We should burn everything here. Uh. 
Revelio. Again. Odd. I'd have thought Jack would. I can't wear it, but it's still worse than mine. Right, uh, destroy one and this one. This loot, but there's no sign of him. Hmm. I bet you can just uh, keep the appearance of one item all the time, even if you change it. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Akio. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. in spiders Revelio I the stop pad see more spiders ah the dead end okay Incendium. 
Uh, defeat an enemy with spiritification tatalus. I don't have a spell yet, I guess. Revelio. Again, untouched. <clears throat> Oh, I have another scarf. Equip it. And destroy this one. This one. Uh, too bad I don't get enough money from them. But whatever. Better than to lose potentially a better. Thorough in his search of this cave. just happened mm. let's check the other way as well This is where we are. Uh. There were a lot of red dots. Oh, this is a uh, main way, uh. I guess. Huh. What? I can't return? Wait a minute, no. And be true. I don't want to go here right now. No. Stop the panic. Mm-hmm. More chests. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Hmm. Potions? Oh, this is the way down. Here. Um. Lots. Damn it. That's annoying, really. 
Really, really annoying. More defense. So the slot is different. The value. But I don't have any slots right now. No. No glasses. But I may as well help myself to this. Rebellion. Okay. And we need Akio. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. He's can't what the head of Richard Jack. Akio, incendio. Expelliarmus. Akio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Akio. Incendio. Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. What the hell is that? Give me an ugly... Oh, it's a matcha, but not level 20. Spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. But the hmm. Range? Revelio. something oh whatever I won't get back rebellion I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me but where could he be so, okay. Hmm? Hmm. I see a statues. Another fight, and I don't have a an ancient energy to perform my overkill skill. Okay. I must be getting closer to Jack Daw's remains and those pages. Hmm. We meet again, Richard Jack Daw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Accio! 
Spell Armos, right. Okay, we have a big one with a huge sword. Again? Oh, I such another enemy. God damn it! I am out of space again. Unidentified back item? There are such things here. Nequir. Hmm. Huh. Yep. Take this to the room of requirement to reveal its squad qualities. Okay, that's interesting. Thought it was a good idea. I couldn't get a uh, wiggle, Wiggenwealth potion. It also take a slot. Revelio. Oh, you don't have any items, right? Yes. I've seen this before. In the Green Gods and the restricted section. Where am I? Rebellion. Oh no. The room's starting to flood. Hmm. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? Oh, I'm under protection. Automatic defense bubble. That's nice. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Room or oh, not? Can it be? It 
It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Hmm, I got my talents. Finally. Each time you increase your wizarding level. What's a wizarding level? Ah, I see. All the levels I got. Dark cards, spells, or improve your overall effectiveness, improve your ability to sneak around, potions. I'm playing as a good guy, so no dark cards. Improve your spell cost. Hmm. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Well, this is a talent. A new spell set is at... Oh, nice. That's what I wanted. Mm-hmm. Spell set. Alright. We can build heals you to a greater effect. Nice. Yes, I certainly need another. I don't know if I will need it, but it looks cool. Should do it in style. Ah, so we can... Use the weapon they drop. Hmm. Mm, that might be useful. Basic cast impacts reduce spill colours. Yep. Okay, we have uh, wasted five points there. Spells. Go with the stealth. Okay. That might be useful. Room of requirement. Requirement. Hmm. what 
there's dark arts. Hmm. Okay, then. Get this one. Must be able to cast the fiend, though. Right. Level 16. Ah, it's a talent to use. Okay. Nice. This will make this uh, battles even more interesting. So, set. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Mm -hmm. The map chamber. Nice. Revelio. Really? I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. And another identified items. Okay. Revelio. Pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Mm hmm. What's that? Secret rooms. Hmm. Flying class. Finally. But, uh,. Let's sell our items first. Or not. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Finish it first. I guess we have to go to Hawksmith to buy a broom. Anyway. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. 
Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. This will take some getting property. used to. I want them returned in one piece. I wish piece. I had my own broom. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Um... How do I... I see. This is rather fun. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Reckon? Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? Ah, I see. I have to stop it. you fly through those rings you seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough i'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging but i'm getting ahead of myself we haven't properly met i'm everett clopton am i right in suspecting that a gryffindor like you might be interested in a high flying adventure kagawa seems strict i wouldn't want to get into trouble Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. <laughs> the right. tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. flying so quickly here's something handy to know lean forward for a burst of speed helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation 
Oh. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Uh huh. I have stamina. Uh. And a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. you two been? <laughs> oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still... Because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Hmm. Yes. Let's go get our broom. And we can freely fly around the map, I guess. Mm hmm This is where we should go. Have to sell items. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. I have a terrible curse where I can't lift tools or do Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Hmm, that's a requirement room. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare U-weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps too. 
No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spent witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with a U one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Hmm. They are practically the same. That item is of the highest quality. Looks nice. That item is of the highest quality. Ah, Ember Dash. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. The items. Oh, so we can sell it here. Nice doing business with you. Hmm, I live legendary. I wonder, do we have an inventory here? In our room? Chest, where can we place everything? It's better defense. It's a green. Okay, nice. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! <laughs> Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here <laughs> studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumored talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, 
I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Hmm. Oh, enemy level twenty forty. The Highlands. Oh, the Highlands. Mm. Right. Map. Have to go to the room of requirements. Just here? Uh huh. So uh, this. Well. Uh huh. I see. This is the one. Question mark. I think this should be a unicorn. No? Or a spider? Maybe. Unicorn plus four is the Hydra, that's four.
a dragon and uh, something strange. They are both on the same row. Can I see this? Okay. I don't get it really. Revelio. Oh, another added identified item. Alright. Let's go to the room of requirements. Where we can identify everything. I wonder. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. <laughs> Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Rebellion. Oh, can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Yeah, I remember this one. I saw it before.
hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop the- Revelio! No, not- uh, That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! <laughs> and... Repairer! And repair him. That's useful. He defended the room, thought I needed a bath. Okay, thing. It's a living room. Revelio. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Hmm, it's a key. Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wiki and find out! <laughs> Rebellion. Hmm. Thank you. Can open it. Wait. Let me answer. Um, how do I dispel them also? <laughs> I won't teach me that. Okay, I got it anyway. Let's go. Uh, no, the other way. Oh, no, where is the map? There's no map. Okay. I hope that house elf can find us in here. There is a key. And it's here. Akio! 
Labioso. I should get it here. Right, let's stop wasting time. I don't know what to do here. I'll get back. Come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with <laughs> that's a really nice room i look forward to seeing what you do with the space ah and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description excellent mm. it can identify unfamiliar items of clothing one should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed that's what i need I 
another set of You'll find plenty hmm. of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Right. See what we got. And here. Ah, it's it's a trade. Decreased damage taken from trolls. Increased damage with ancient magic thralls. But useful. But the look of it. Yeah. In here, oh, it's locked. Level 14. Increase damage with the mandrake. We can use it as a weapon. Increase damage dealt to curse targets. Okay. Mm, it is war, sir. But have a trade. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Mm, quite perceptive. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Potions, small scientific potion, botanical. Um, it's no different, I guess. A medium potion, large. Uh huh. Nice. And let's go with a uh, thick as well. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. 
can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. <laughs> I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Another spell? you about transfiguration if you have a moment yeah yeah just a second can choose a color even this okay what else uh artwork mm, decorations Thank you. Whatever. What else? Uh, tables. Oh, <laughs> that's some nice statue. I've more to teach you about. Yeah, yeah, a just a second. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I think I have enough. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Operation. Reduce. 
Peter. Good work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Change the size. Oh. <laughs> um. This one. Okay, size. Well, the color. for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Mm. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. 
Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. <laughs> if you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Level up. Okay, so oh. best turn. guess we'll finish up for today or for now for now i think i'll okay. yep i will be online later today we'll uh, go further with the main quest maybe some side quest no time we have uh, opened everything important balance flight everything to make our life easier and we'll continue with the main story all right for now thanks for watching and see you soon